In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a paper plane with six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here this colorful plane paper comes uh, flying from the bottom right. And then when I click, it will show me the first option like a curved design where you can put the option number one, the detailed text along with the icon. When I click, it will show me with the different color combination, the second option, the third, fourth, fifth and six so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using like old version 2007 or 2010 some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw it something like this shape outline make it no outline then rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then i'm going to make it flip vertical so it looks something like this again depending on your requirement you can increase the size all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give uh, i'm going to edit this particular shape for that right mouse click click on the edit point you can see here and if you like you can make it somewhat up a bit like this all right and then you can see these points so i'm taking this point click it here and make it straight like this you can see here and here also you can make it straight like this okay and then this one also i'm going to make a little bit curve and here also i'm going to make a little bit curve all right again if you want more curve you can just pull it more down so our shape should look something like this all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this particular slide and duplicate this slide why am i doing this one because if something goes wrong with the design we have the backup here otherwise if something goes wrong again you have to start from the beginning all right so let me just go back to this slide then select this one right mouse click format shape i'm going to give a somewhat transparent okay somewhat transparent you have to increase it then press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm going to give some different color combination and then i'm going to put it like this make sure that this particular part okay let me just zoom in okay this particular part should touch here this particular this area can you see here this area okay it should touch like this so that this is the intersection point for them okay now this is the one now depending on how many uh, options you need two three four five you need to add that many options uh, that many shapes so press ctrl d now this one i'm going to give some different color why i'm giving different color so that to differentiate how much space i'm giving and how much you know the gap is there for each one again for this one also make sure that again this is your intersection point here this particular area i'll just highlight this one this is the intersection point okay so i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to put it here like this you can see here all right then i'm going to duplicate this again giving a different color combination just to distinguish between what how many points we want and how much gap we need again as i said that this is our the intersection and here again i'm going to put it like this all right we can see here and then few more we have all right and then i'm just going to drag this one maybe i'm going to give uh, again some different color combination and put it like this here okay so this one you still we have one two three four still we have this you can see here this is our the selection for this one so still i can add one more so again duplicate this one and i'm going to give maybe a gray and i'm going to put this much here and then again just drag this one to the intersection point all right okay so then this is the one 
again if you want we, later on we can uh, change the direction we uh, the shape okay but let me just delete this and again if something goes wrong just for the safer side i'm going to duplicate this slide okay so after duplication i'm just going to zoom out then i'm going to select all the objects or you can press ctrl a as well then go to the shape format merge shape and click on fragment then i'm going to delete the unwanted you know the options yes i think this one and then there's something here also that i need to delete it so you can see here we have got a uh, different options here all right so let me just undo this one now depending on your requirement you need to change the color so any color if you want you can fill the gradient or you can use any color of your choice example i'm going to start with some light color combination you can see here i'm just going to give uh, some uh, different colors and later on we can just change the way we want the colors if you feel this is not good you can change it all right and then i'm going to give uh, maybe more dark color and here i'm going to give uh, maybe something like this and then make sure that this is transparency has to be removed okay so it looks something like this now again as i said that if you want to change the color to some other color you can just come and change it different colors okay it's up to you so right once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one uh, paper plane here okay again if you want to increase the size for example you need to select all and press ctrl g and then you can increase the size something like this you can see here if you want to play otherwise you can just leave it and then ungroup this one all right then let me just go to insert icons and here somewhere in communication i've got this particular uh, plane a paper plane and click insert all right increase the size and then i'm just going to rotate it and i'm going to put it here like this you can see here if you want to increase the size a bit more you can increase it and make sure that this is touching the end and if this is uh, a plain boring uh, outline uh, plain then you can just go to insert lines i'm going to select the free form and here i'm just clicking like this all right and then i can make it no outline shape fill i can give any color i want again here I would like to add again the free form shape you can see here and here maybe I can give green or a blue could be and here inside I can add some different color combination all right and maybe here I can give some orange and make sure that this shape press ctrl G2 group it now you can see here we have uh, done our design now it's time to add the options so go to insert text box i'm going to type 01 make it bold increase the size and i'm going to put it here one all right and make the font as white hold the control shift key so this is the second option the third option the fourth option and the fifth option here let me just rename this one this is two this is three this is four and this is five all right then go to insert text box i'm going to add detail text here again make this size if you want you can make it bold white font or bold not required and i can just put the text like this here you can see control d to duplicate so just duplicate this one one by one all right and if you want you can just rotate a little bit once this is done go to insert icons and depending on your requirement i'm going to just choose some random icons here i want five icons so i'm just going to choose some random icons here all right and click insert and move this one here and make the height and width as 0.5 and then i'm just going to 
place the options one by one like this here you can see here like this okay and then all this one i'm going to make this as white now for the animations and before that you need to group the objects to do the animation so now select this one you can see here like this so i'm just selecting this one hold the shift key select this one the text and the icon and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group here okay then i'm going to do the similar thing i'm just going selecting one by one and pressing ctrl g select the option hold the shift key select like this and ctrl g okay one by one you need to do it don't rush all right and there's one nothing is there okay if you want you can remove also but better to keep it now we have done this part now let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane the first this one add animation or i can just select fly in fly in effect option it should come from bottom right like this all right and then i'm going to select this option all these options i'll select okay and make it wipe wipe it should come from left and all this should happen on click so let me just play so it comes the plane then the first option second option third fourth fifth like this it will come and if you like to add some background some uh, shadow effect or some cloud effect you can do it 